In this exercise, we're going to do a forward lunge with some rotational arm circles. I'm going to demo this movement for you and then we're going to get started. So you're going to lunge out with your right leg first. Okay, sink down low into the ground and just bring your arms all the way around. All right, are you ready to get started? Here we go. Right leg lunge and go. As you twist your arms and your torso and your shoulders all the way around, you can do one of two things. You can keep your head pointed straight or you can let your head rotate. If I have my head straight, it's a little bit easier for me to balance, but you're more than welcome to try both versions. Good. My knee is nice and soft. Make sure it's not going over that toe. Good, you have 10 more seconds. Great job. In three, two, one, step back to center. For the second round, all we're gonna do is just switch it up. Left leg goes forward, right leg comes back. I feel that stretch in my hip flexor, you should too. So make sure you're stay, standing here nice and soft. You don't have either of the knees locked out. All right, we're gonna get started. Ready, set, and go. Rotate. Good, think about big arm circles. And again, if this is too deep of a lunge for you, feel free to come up a little bit higher and do the same movement. So pick a stance that's comfortable for you, as long as it's a split stance. And rotate. Good. What also helps me balance is having my toes slightly rotated in. Good. Three more seconds, two, one, and step back to center. Whew. Grab some water if you need it, shake your arms out, shake your legs out. For the last round, we're gonna split the movement. So 20 seconds with my right leg forward and rotating, and then 20 seconds with my left leg forward, arms rotating. All right, last one, ready? Right leg forward and go. Good, big arm circles. Stay soft in both knees. As you can see, both of my knees and my hips are moving. They're supporting that transverse movement. Good. In five seconds, I want you to switch legs. Two, one, switch. Go right into the movement. Big arm circles. Woo. Here we go. Let's see if we can make that rotation a little bit bigger. Really swing your torso around. You got five seconds left. Two, one, and step back to center. Great job. In this exercise, we're gonna do some arm swings. I'm gonna demo the movement, and then we're gonna do it together. Take a base stance, feet about in line with your hips or your shoulders, and you're just gonna swing your arms side to side. We're gonna get started in just a couple of seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Start off with a medium range motion, just very comfortably move your arms side to side. As you're swaying your arms, notice my hips are moving too. I want you to do the same. Good, nice and easy. Just work within a comfortable range of motion. Good, keep breathing. Make sure your trunk is leaning side to side too and it's not just your arms moving. So together, side, to side. Let's do a couple more swings. And time, good. Shake it out. Do a couple shoulder rolls, relax. We've got two more rounds. Again, get back into your base stance. Round number two in three, two, one. Here we go. This time I want you to go a little bit further out, side to side. Again, you're moving your trunk, your hips, your arms, everything in unison. This should feel a little bit more challenging on your abs. Just remember to keep your belly nice and tight. And just increase that range of motion. Got 10 more seconds, so let's do a couple more swings. 
Very good. And time. Good. All right, last round. Again, shake it out. Come back into your base stance. I like to stand just shoulder length apart. All right, last round. We're going to go even wider with the swings. So all the way down. Keep your knees nice and soft. Good. Should feel great on your hips. Loosens your hips, your knees. Even my shoulders are getting a nice little stretch. Whew. Good. Remember, increase that range of motion. You got it. Let's do a couple more swings. Let's go three, two, one, and relax. Good work. In this exercise, we're going to do the squat matrix. So for this exercise, you're going to need to grab a set of dumbbells. The weight doesn't really matter. So if you have lighter dumbbells, grab them. If you have heavier ones, go for it. I'm going to show you the movement real quick. We're going to do five squats with our right foot forward, left foot slightly back. Good. And then five squats. Just switch them around. Left in the front, right in the back. All right. Let's get started. Hold the dumbbells at your shoulders and come on down for one. Good. Two. Chest up. Three. Four. Last one. And five. Switch them up. That's one. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between the two feet and your heels remain on the ground. Good. Last one. Whew. And set your dumbbells down. Nice work. All right. For the second round, we're going to mix our feet up just a little bit. We're going to start with narrow squats. So your feet are going to be a little bit more narrow than your hips. If you can bring them all the way in, great. We're going to take five squats here and then take our feet out too wide. Same thing. For the wide squats, make sure you're pushing your knees out and bring your hips all the way down towards your heels. So in a nice straight line. And when you're squatting, you're not just hunching over, you're coming straight down to that squat. All right, pick up your dumbbells, place them on your shoulders. We've got narrow squats. Three, two, one, here we go. Down for one. Nice. Two, three, good. Four, last one. Five, go wide. One, good. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, and five. All right, set them down for a second. Last set of squats. I'm going to change it up on you again. We're going to go toes rotated in. Okay, dumbbells at your shoulders, and then toes rotated out. The knees follow the alignment of your feet. Grab your dumbbells. All right, rotate your toes in. Here we go. Five squats. Down for one, two, nice, three, four, last one, and five. Flip your toes out, deep breath. One, good, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Set your dumbbells down. You've just completed your exercise. In this exercise, we have a rotational dumbbell reach. So grab your dumbbells. I'm going to show you the exercise real quick. Your feet are going to be hip length apart. You're going to rotate, bring the dumbbells up, rotate, bring them up. Let's get going. Two, one, and rotate your shoulders, your trunk, center, rotate, center. Good. If you feel confident and comfortable with the exercise, Skip the pause in the middle and just go straight for the rotation. Remember, you're rotating through your hips, your shoulders, your trunk. You're halfway done. Good. And I just want you to bring your dumbbells shoulder height, not above. Let's do a couple more. And pause. Set your dumbbells down. 
get a quick break. So for these rotations, the important thing is to stay nice and springy in the knees and the hips. So as you rotate, and I want you just going stiff like it's side to side, okay? Stay soft, rotate, raise. Grab your dumbbells. We've got round number two in three seconds. Two, one, go. Good. Soft in the knees. Good. You can always grab heavier dumbbells or increase your tempo. Just remember to breathe. Halfway done. You got it. Ten more seconds, and you get a break. Come on, push through this. We got five, four, three, two, and come to center. Nice job. Now, you have one more round left, so catch your breath, shake it out, roll your shoulders out if you need to. Last round, it's gonna be fun. Grab your dumbbells. Get back into your base stance. Let's get going in. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Last one. Really work this round. Good. Soft in the knees. Big rotations. Let's see if we can turn that trunk back a little bit more. Bend your knees. Good. Nice and soft in the elbows. You're halfway through. Good. Bend and rotate. Come on. All right, 10 seconds. Here we go. Pick it up. Good. Last couple seconds. We've got three, two, one, and relax. Set your dumbbells down. You did a great job. All right, in this block, you're only going to need one dumbbell. So grab your dumbbell. You're going to do a lateral lunge with an opposite side press. Now, you're only going to do three rounds of five reps per side. So I'm going to get started on my left side and lunge with my right leg. So here we go. Nice deep lunge. Stand to middle and press. That's it. Now, four more just like it. Good. Three more. Two. Good. Last one. And press. Switch sides. Same thing. Left side lunge. Step to the middle. Press. Now, when you're lunging, I want you to think about keeping your back nice and straight, your rib cage nice and tight, and press all the way up until your wrist, your shoulder, and your elbow is all locked out. One more. Good. Set the dumbbell down for a second. All right. I'm going to explain this to you one more time. So from the side, when you lunge, make sure you're staying in a nice, tall frame. You're not hunching over or leaning back too much. And then when you step to the middle, nice straight line from the hip all the way out to your wrist. Are you ready? Here we go. Right side lunge, left side press. Lunge, press, that's one. Good. And you can have your hand either straight in front of you or on your side, it really doesn't matter. Good, we've got one more. Excellent. Switch sides. Press, great work. Two to go. And last one. Good. Set it down for a minute. All right, for the last round, you can either pick up your pace a little bit, or if you have anything heavier um, than the dumbbell you're using right now, you can grab that. So either go up in weight or move a little bit faster. Here we go. Last round. Are you ready? And go. One, two, three. Good. Four and five. Switch. Go right into it. One and two. Three. Excellent. Four. One more. Five. You did great. Good job. In this exercise, we're going to do some jump squats. So you're going to start off in your initial squat stance. I'm going to show you the movement. You're going to come down into a squat and then swing your arms back and jump. Again, come down to a squat, swing your arms back and jump. You're going to repeat that movement for 30 seconds. Okay, so catch your breath. We're going to get started in 10. Whew. 
feet either hip or shoulder length apart. Ready, set, and down, jump up. Soft landing, back down. Good, so each time you land, I want you to think about landing silently onto your toes. You can stay with me at this pace, or you can always speed it up and go a little bit faster. Just make sure that you're landing nice and soft. Good. You're doing good. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Great job. Shake it out. Shake your legs out. Catch your breath. You can even do a couple of quad stretches. All right, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Same thing, nice, easy range of motion. If you feel great, you can go a little bit faster. Ready, set, and here we go. Down, up, soft landing. Land on your toes, roll back to your heels. Keep your back nice and straight. Just keep your arms swinging. Make sure when you land, your knees don't cave in, so you want your knees to go right in line with those toes. Last 10 seconds, here we go, pick it up. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. That one's definitely a burner. Catch your breath. Let's grab some water. We've got one last round to do. All right, for this one, I want you to stay with me. I'm gonna pick up my pace. I want you to try and do the same. All right, ready? Here we go in three, two, one, and down up. Good, soft landing. Keep those arms swing. Again, you don't have to jump very deep, but I do want you to bounce out of that bottom. 15 seconds, you got it, come on. You're almost there, 10 seconds, come on, keep pushing. Oh yeah, feel those quads. You got it, last three, two, one. You're done, nice work. In this block, we're gonna do single dumbbell snatches. So grab a dumbbell. I'm gonna demo the movement, and then you and I are gonna do it together. So in a wide squat stance, okay, you're gonna come down, and the dumbbell is gonna be as close in between your knees and as close to your body as you can get it. Then explode up through the hips and end up with the weight overhead with your elbow, shoulder, and wrist locked out. Let me show you again. Here, jump up, bring it down. Explode up, bring it down. All right, we've got three sets of five reps on each side. Here we go, let's get started. And one, back down. Good, make sure you're jumping through the hips and explode up. Good, two more. Last one. Good, switch sides. Here we go. Down. Good. Keep the dumbbell close to your body. That's three. Four, one more. And five. Good. Whew. Set it down, catch your breath. So it always helps me to remember to keep it close is imagine you're zipping up a zipper on your jacket. So you want to keep it close, 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 and then release at the top. All right? Whew. All right, round number two. So grab your dumbbells. You can go up or down in weight, depending on how you're feeling. I'm gonna stick with my weight. All right, ready? And up. Good, explosive movement through the hips, keeping your core nice and tight. That's three. You got four and five. Switch hands, keep the dumbbell close. Here we go. And one, two, you got it. Three, four, last one, and five. Nice, set it down for a quick break. Get some water. All right, last round left to do. So remember, you're exploding through the hips. Your hips are a lot more powerful 
than your upper body. So the more work your hips do, the less your upper body has to work. You ready? This is it, last one. Make it count. Here we go. Jump up, one. Good, explode, two. Three, you got it. Four, and five. Switch it up, come on. One, nice. Two, and three, here we go. Four, last one, you got this. Five, Whew. job well done. Set your way down, nice. All right, in this exercise, we're gonna come down to the mat into a forearm plank. I'm gonna show you this from the side real quick, and then we're gonna do it together. So, regular plank on my toes and uh, my elbows, my forearms. I'm going to bring my arm up, thread the needle, drive through, bring it out, rotate my hips in and out, okay? Halfway through, I'm gonna switch sides. Let's try this together. Here we go, in three, two, one, and right side. Thread the needle in and out, in and out. Rotate your hips, your toes. Good. Halfway through, let's switch sides. Here we go. Left side. And again, you can control your pace. You can speed it up, slow it down. You got it. Come on, three more seconds. Two, one, whew. Come on up. Grab some water if you need it. Shake your arms out. So this movement, there's a couple ways to scale it. The smaller your hip rotation is and your arm rotation is, a little bit more um, easier it becomes. Now, if you really want to hit that rotation and open up that whole side, you're going to find it to be really challenging. Let's go round number two. So come on down to the ground. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side. All right, here we go. Begin. Rotate in. Open up wide. In. Wide. As you can see, I have my feet pretty wide here. The wider I rotate, the more challenging it becomes. And I want to have a little bit of a wider base with my feet. Let's switch sides, guys. Woo! Here we go. Reach as far in and as far out as you can. Doing great. Three seconds. Two, one. Relax. Ah, great job. You can stay on your knees, just catching your breath. If you have your water nearby, you can grab it. Or you can stand up, walk around. It's all up to you. Just make sure you're recovering. Nice and easy breathing. We've got one more round to do. All right, let's come back down. Get into your plank position. We're gonna start with the right side. Ready? And begin. Rotate those hips in, shoulders in and out. Come on. You got it. Five more seconds. We're gonna switch sides. And switch. Good. Doing great. All right. Five seconds. Push yourself. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Come up to standing. In this block, we've got some duck one, two punches. We've got 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest. Get into your athletic stance. Here we go. Let's get started. And duck one, two. Make sure you breathe out on each punch. Good, you're soft in the knees, throw from your shoulder, then bring your hands back to your face. On this first round, you can pace yourself because in the second and third rounds, whew, we're really getting fired up. Here we go. You got 20 seconds left. Imagine you're ducking underneath the barbed wire or you're ducking away from a hit. 10 seconds left. Five. And time, good. Quick 10 second break, shake your arms out. All right, get back to your stance. I like to have my left foot slightly in front and go. Let's go a little faster on this round. Whew. 
You got it. Woo. Woo. Keep it going. Come on. Pat, pat. Pat, pat. Oh, yeah. If the sound effect helps you get going, go for it. Come on. Halfway through. 20 seconds, guys. Come on. Woo! We got this. You and me. Let's go. And pick it up. A couple seconds left. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Last round. You got it. Here we go. Two, one, and go. Work hard. Come on. Work with me here. Put your hips into the motion. You got 15 seconds to go. Last 10. Come on. Stay here. Work with me. Come on. Three, two, one, and time. Great work. We're now going to do a restorative pose. So I want you to come down on your mat in a kneeling position, down on your hands and knees. Your knees are going to be about uh, underneath your hips, hip length apart. Now, if you can come down onto your forearms, okay, that's great. You're going to place your right hand behind your back. Start rotating, opening up that right shoulder. Rotate your neck up towards the sky and focus on breathing. If you're comfortable, you can stay here. But what I'd really like you to do is get down even lower. Sink your hips back onto your heels and rotate from here even more. You can close your eyes and just focus on the breathing. So deep breaths in out your nose. You can feel your chest open up, your thoracic spine welcoming the stretch. All your muscles relaxing. Sink down even lower into the stretch. Just stay breathing. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. And again, I welcome to find, for you to find a pose that's comfortable for you. You can come down onto your forearm, or you can slide your arm all the way in front of you. Open up your shoulder. Find that rotation that really feels good for you. Lengthen your spine. Relax your hips. Open up those tight shoulders. You really want to keep that breathing nice and slow. Let's stay here for a couple moments longer. Whenever you're ready to come out of the pose, bring both of your hands forward. Rock onto your arms. Curl your toes underneath and very gradually, very slowly, um, get up. Finish in a standing position. Roll your shoulders back. Great job.